Hey, uh, Bill was bringing up a good point in the office before the show. We wrote it down, too. Speed 2. Now, I thought Speed 2 was a good movie. Ugh. Never saw it, but I thought it did well. I thought the reviewers liked it. No, no, It was no. believable. No, it was just a... It was a, it was a bomb. It was a bomb? Actually, from caught, the get-go? Yeah, I was on the tour bus oh. on the uh, monster comedy event there. I'm really whoring myself out today. I'm really you fucking, certainly are. I really am. You That's know, I give a shit. You are in your cape, my friend. Um... They like the. I just saw the end of that movie. Like literally, the boat was heading like towards the island. What was the premise? The whole premise is just like like the first one. We Except I guess it's a boat instead yeah, of a bus. Yeah, you know you had to keep the bus going like over sixty miles an hour. Yeah. I guess you had to keep the boat going at such and such knots. Knots. But well, why wouldn't they just knots. jump in the water? Knots. I'm sure they uh, figured that out. Look, how am I supposed to abandon the ship while it's moving? The ship will stop in exactly three minutes. I give you fifteen minutes to evacuate. He can, he can handle it. Middle of the ocean, hypothermia. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Why wouldn't they just jump in the uh, the water? You can't jump off a bus, but you can jump off a boat. Is it? Uh, w was it the um, passenger boat? Well, it's like one of those big cruise ships. I mean, a that's cruise just, ship? Just you like can't jumping. get everybody jumping off a cruise ship. Why not? And then what about? They start lowering the lifeboats, and they probably blow it up. Like they said, if you, everybody, anybody tries to get off of the bus... No one goes off the bus. You try to take any passengers off the bus, I will detonate it. They were going to blow it up even if it's doing, you know. Plus, uh, that's okay. like jumping off a brownstone. I mean, those things are way up there. Oh, they're huge. <laughs> Hitting the water like uh, some cement. Can't do that. Well, communique came in. What is that location check from Milo? Let's see if it's a location <laughs> check. <laughs> no. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, bye-bye, oh, <coughs> sell, sell. All right. <clears throat> anyway. Speed 2, yeah. So you saw the end of the movie. Yeah, it's like the very end of the movie. So, I f you know, they're literally heading towards the island. So I figured I got this must be the last six minutes before somehow Sandra saves the day. It was right. 45 minutes of the most horrific <laughs> just filmmaking ever fucking made. First of all, they come flying in and they're going right at like an oil tanker. And somehow, uh, 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 who, who's the lead in that? Oh, uh, no, no. Nah, the, the O'Donnell, Chris O'Donnell, is it? Or no, Chris? uh, no, no. William Defoe. The guy from Sleepers. Now, this whole fucking thing is unraveling. You see, God knew, damn it. Wait, 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 wait. No, uh, I don't know who they are. Wait, here comes Jason Patrick. Right? Jason, yeah, Jason Patrick. Patrick. Oh, that guy. I was distracted because I went to Rotten Tomatoes. Go back again. Just to regroup here. It got a 4% rating. 96% of the reviewers across America hated Speed 2. Hmm. And one of the reviewers says, If Speed 2 and, let's say, Kissed, a dark comedy about a woman necro necrophile, were the very last two movies at the video store, I would pick Kissed. Ooh. It got horrendous reviews. But anyway, yes. so it's Jason Patrick. So you figure it's like the end of the movie. Like, you can see the island. Turns out they're heading right towards an oil tanker. And and I don't know they they go underneath and somehow they turn the uh, the the things that steer the, the rudder boat, the rudders. rudders yeah and they basically sideswipe the oil tanker like it's a fucking parked car <laughs> sticking all these holes in the side of it so now you're thinking okay everybody's like everyone has this big hey we made it we the made big it. hug and then one extra worst extras ever like you know looking off into the horizon just goes oh shit and then they cut to somebody else. Wait, oh, that wasn't the end of the shit. movie? No, it's not the... It keeps going. Oh, the I thought that would be... The oh shit take. Yes. But that would have been a great oh. end of the movie. No. No. The no, oh no, shit take. too, man. you got to make it bigger. But that right. Looked, that looked pretty intense, and they just got out of danger. The oil rig obviously Dude, remember exploded. Speed? When they stopped the bus and everyone was fine, it wasn't the end of the movie. That's true. Jason keeps getting up. It's the same shit. Right. Ship. Now they're heading towards... The fucking island, and we know that because the extra is with the oh shit, the oh shit, oh yeah, oh shit, and they're they're blowing the horn. That is worse than the buddy movie, through the windshield. Whoa! Take yes, where they're both heading towards something, where they jump over something. Yeah, and, and you and hug each other. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Ugh, horrendous. Then they start going towards... I mean, dude, at, and then the side swiping of the oil tanker was at least fucking ten minutes to finally get up to there. <laughs> so I'm thinking, it was such a build-up. You thought it was the end of the movie. Now they're heading towards the fucking island. Still going 15 minutes, people clutching on, water's filling up because they side swiped an oil tanker. Ah. Plows into the beach. Doesn't stop. Keeps going. 
So the boat now is going through. An it's island. slicing this an town. island in half. It's going up a street, and the extras, you know, the stuntmen are doing the, uh, you know, get out of the way, get in the way, get out of the way, <laughs> fucking jump out of the way. There's like 50 of those fucking shots. People drinking like espressos, and ooh, it's a boat jumping out of the way of their tables. I love how it's through. the big burly guys all the time because they got to use the stuntmen whenever yeah. they're doing this thing. Like, like uh, uh, my favorite has always been the car busting through the gate take. And there's just some guy hanging out in front of the gate for some reason. And at the last minute, he jumps out of the way. And it's always this big, burly, stuntman-looking guy. <laughs> and you br bring up a great point. They always look like they're ready to get out of the way. Like yeah. They never look completely relaxed, whether they're sitting down at a table drinking tea. Yeah, whenever they're sitting at a the table, they're leaned on their forearm, ready to jump up. Because yeah. they know the fucking car's coming. Ready to they're leaning. Action. Their, their legs are, are like uh, they're at the starting line of a race. They're all set up like ready to <laughs> They're sweating. Well, they're it's, like, it's like the third take. They yeah. got nicked yeah. by the bumper on the last one. But they're still drinking their cappuccino. Right, right. <laughs> just drinking and then, whoa, out of the way. <laughs> all right, oh, so, so it just keeps plowing through this well, fucking island. I want to go with this now. Now I'm gotta, trying to make this quicker than the no, end of the movie because no, it's it's you got to think the island is going to slow the boat down and now it's got to blow up. No, it took at least like 20 blocks. No, it doesn't blow up. It doesn't even tip over. No, it, it, it stays, stays there. It stays but totally it, upright. Goes right up the street. Plows but how through is some it houses. keeping the speed going if it's uh, if it's cutting through an island? It's a magic of Hollywood, Opie. All right, it just keeps oh, going. All right, finally comes to a stop. You're thinking this is the fucking end. Finally, no. roll, roll the credits. But you know what I forgot? Sandra Bullock is on dual connected jet skis with Willem Dafoe, who plays the bad guy. Now Jason Patrick has to go rescue this bitch. Of course. Jumps off down a house as everyone's looking like, what the fuck, you know? He gets, he somehow commandeers a, a speedboat from the black dude from uh, that uh, stripper movie that bombed. I'm oh, so bad right, with, right. Uh, uh, Showgirls. Showgirls. Okay. The guy with the dreadlocks, right? I think he gets stabbed in Oz or something, right? So he jumps on that thing. Willem Dafoe is now in a fucking plane. This is like 35 minutes into the end of the movie. He's now in a plane with Sandra Bullock going to take off. So he's got to be going at least 80 miles an hour. Yeah. They're cruising in a boat. Jason Patrick, whatever the fuck his name is, takes like a harpoon, shoots the plane. <laughs> okay. Where did he get the harpoon from? I don't know. He, he just happened to have it on the jet ski. He shoots the plane, right? It goes into the side of it. He holds on, then... Plus, it hits a button for some sort of automatic reel-in mechanism. What is this used for aside from rescuing people from a plane from a jet ski? I have no idea. So now he just holds onto the gun, and he's now in the water, skimming across the water, dragging behind a fucking plane that's taking off. He's not losing his grip. He's definitely squinting his eyes a little. <laughs> and he comes up. He finally gets up onto the plane, right? Yeah. Stands on the side of it, says, hey, what's up, sweet? Hi. Hi. To Sandra, and then does the the hacky punch yeah. to Willem Dafoe. Right, grabs her. They jump off. So part of the plane, like you know, the the the, the plane the floats on. The pontoons. Yeah, they, it breaks off. On. They have them straddled. His nuts are fully exposed. He drops <laughs> like 90 feet right into the water. Perfect totally plan. fine. They're Perfect fine. Plan. And yeah. they just go along like a little friendly torpedo. <laughs> now Willem Dafoe's like, fuck, he lost the money, he lost the girl, he looks up, it's the fucking oil tanker again. Ah, remember from hitting it, how long yeah. ago was that in the movie? At least 45 <laughs> minutes. Now, at this point, you're like, please, hit the fucking oil tanker and end it. No, he pulls back on the stick, is he gonna hit it? No, he uh -oh. just goes straight up, straight up, and then he's smiling. Oh, good, made I, it. I made it, I made it. Turns around, there's like some sort of weather vane or some shit on the boat. He just fucking comes to a dead stop, like impales the plane right on, on this thing, thing and passes out. Now they got to the fucking the chick and the dude. They're hugging. You think it's over. Willem Dafoe wakes up. It's still not it's over. It's still going. Looks down. There's gas dripping. Finally, his fucking mercilessly, his fucking his plane blows up and then sets off a bunch of explosions in the on whole the oil, oil tanker. tanker. It's at least. It's, I swear to God, it has to be at least 40 minutes. You know, I've never seen the end of that movie. I've seen the boat hit the island. And and then I changed the channel because I could swear that was the end of the movie. It's and, and you you watch the whole thing in, in dead silence. It's like it's. <laughs> I was going horrible. on next, and they're like, "You're on next." I'm like, I I have to see the end of this. <laughs> These action so movies bad. at times are so exhausting because it's one stunt after another after another after another, and and you're like, when? Yeah, exactly. When does this end? So I could go. Well, fortunately home. with Speed too, the character development was so you it know was brilliant, tremendous right? that I cared about everybody in it. Let's say hi to Joe in Jersey, Joe. Bill Burr. Yes. 
I want to call you an a-hole right now for ruining Speed 2 for me. I'm going to watch that tonight. <laughs> you ruined the ending. You ruined oh. it. I thought he was going to give me shit for how long it took to tell the end of that fucking story. <laughs> no, the yeah. um, oh shit take is like Danny Glover saying, I'm getting too old for this uh, shit. I'm too old for this shit. Yeah. Which oh. replaced the 1970s when you needed a laugh. You had an old person give the finger. Oh, yeah. Up yours! Yeah, the end. Yeah, you tell him, Granny. Yeah, the Clint Eastwood orangutan moment. They, that made the resurgence, though, in the uh, late 90s, um, having the old person rap. The hip-hop, I hit it to the hip, to the hip-hip-hop. You don't stop the rock to the bang-bang-boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the middle of the boogie the beat. Uh, when old people, old ladies rap... I swear, I just want to... Wasn't that at the end of Wedding Singer? Yeah, so yeah they the Wedding still, Singer, still they did that. still that gag out. Yeah. Oh. Or anytime old white people... Like, there was another movie where a group of old white people, old stuffy Republican white people, start dancing and singing to rap music. Oh. Like they're accepting the, the black guy. I, I forgot, what, was it that Eddie Murphy movie or something? I have or, no idea. Was it Bullworth? Oh, that, that, that was on TV I don't the other even day. know. Oh, it was that horrendous. Maybe Chris Rock. Oh, is that Chris Rock movie where he's got to go in the White House and become something? I don't know what it would. Don't even ask. It's just a group of white, old, stuffy white Republicans. Like, they, like that would ever even get close to happening. They're dancing and singing. Oh, <laughs> hate that. With Warren Beatty rapping. I saw him one time. He, did a, he, he was accepting an award, and he's, yeah. he started apologizing for things. That was the most egotistic. Really? He, he goes... You know, uh, he apologized for not making more movies. He was an actor, and I'm sorry. I know like sitting me. there, oh, when is the next Warren Beatty project coming out? <laughs> so sorry I, I didn't give you enough of me. That is the most self-centered, yeah. egotistical Ishtar was dribble. enough. Let's go to yeah, thanks. Let's go to Tyler. He's saying we're forgetting something. Tyler? Yeah, hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Um, you forgot the final ending. What's that? Um... They're on the punt, cruising towards the oil tanker, and the thing starts to explode. So she pulls off and starts to drown because she's all bound up. It's still she... not over? Oh, I forgot that. Oh, my God, it's Wait, not it over. Wait, it didn't end with the oil tanker exploding? That's He's so right. Sandra and... starts to drown, and uh, Jason Patrick has to dive in and do the buddy breathe thing because she's bound with chains. Oh, so he's, like, kissing her? Yes. yes. And breathing into her mouth? And, and how did he get the chains off of her? Uh, he just slammed her to the top, I, I guess, and the black dude in the boat picked her up. Ah. Uh, holy crap. Whew, and then it was over? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, but they had the, they had the jewels, so everything was okay. Uh-huh. Oh, so then, bad. And then he asked her to marry her. Is that awful? All right. Oh, oh the and then see when they were chasing the plane, uh, the black dude and his girlfriend just had, the, like, the worst, hackiest lines. Like, he was all scared, and she was laughing like this was all fun. Really? Chasing this terrorist with this woman held hostage. Yeah, nothing beats the um, throw in the funny line when you would absolutely be petrified for your life. I'll swallow your soul. Come get some. That whole thing. That was a big 80s thing, too. We should get uh, audio of Speed 2 for Friday's show. Eek. That yeah. scene, definitely. All right. We're going to step aside, take a little break. It really, I think it, it topped uh, Roadhouse as my, my favorite all-time awful movie. Road, wow, it topped that because Roadhouse is still nah, my Ro favorite all-time bad just, movie. Roadhouse is really hard. <laughs> the bouncer circuit. <laughs> it's I just love that. so <laughs> that there's a bouncer circuit. <laughs> yeah, this guy's coming in. They know <laughs> his name. They they ship him in from out of town. And everything about Swayze, he's just such a pretty boy, like his tight shirt and his. His feathered mullet and his ba his dancer body. <laughs> it doesn't even oh, have like yeah. a bouncer body. It's a it's dancer body. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna be kicking some ass at yeah, the roadhouse. Yeah, he's, he's like he's like musical tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like West Side Story tough. Yeah. Da, 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 da. If, you, if you're gonna have a gang fight and it's all dancing, <laughs> then he's a tough guy. His feathered mullet. Not while my scrotum is pressed up against my stomach in these jeans, they won't.